Hello dear friends, in this video I shall take up the important topic of Roman numerals. These are taught to students at very basic level and uh, you get some questions of Roman numerals in some competitions as well. These are used widely in uh, mathematics and uh, students need to be aware of what is the exact method of writing the uh, Roman equivalent to any number and uh, a lot of confusion uh, you know is faced by the students in remembering the roman numerals so i'm going to deal with this topic in an easy manner today uh, so that uh, you can write the roman numeral for any number within seconds so for this uh, method you know you need to be aware of some basic concepts of roman numbers the first thing is the standard uh, alphabets which we use to represent the round figure quantities. I stands for 1, V stands for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and then M for 1000. Now there is a reason why we have stopped at 1000 because oh okay that will be doing uh, subsequently as and when we start writing Roman numerals for all these numbers. See I have taken numbers up to 12,654. So this is the first thing IVX LCDM that is the order in which it has to be remembered from 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. You can see a pattern in that also. See 1, 5 then followed by 1, 0, uh, suffix with each 10, 50, then one more 0, 100, 500, then one more 0, 1000. So this is how we need to remember these seven alphabets. The second concept which we need to know for remembering Roman numbers are the representations of single digit numbers 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, I have written them in pairs, 2, 3 in one row, then 4, 5 in another row, 4, 6, sorry, and then 7, 8, and then 9. Now, there is a purpose behind that. We need to remember these 7 followed by, uh, put 1, 0 on the right hand side, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90, and then put one more 0, 200, 300, 400, 600, 700, 800, and 900. Now, if you know the representation of 2 and 3, they are single i's. So, 2 i's means 2, 3 i's means 3. Likewise, if you have zeros suffixed with 2 and 3, like 20 and 30, then you move from i to x because this has 1 0. So, 2x means 20, 3x means 30. Likewise, if you put one more 0 and move to 200, 300, C100 representation is C. So we have 200 means 2 C's and 300 means 3 C's. Then 4 and 6, C, I, V and V, I. So whenever a larger value is on the right hand side, then we subtract the one on the left hand side. See 1 and 5. 5 is on the right hand side, so 5 minus 1 is 4. But if the larger one is on the left hand side, like V here, and I, the smaller one is on the right hand side, then we add. So V, I means 5, 1. So 5 and 1, uh, we have to add them to get 6. Likewise, in place of I and V, if we put a 0 in these two numbers, 40 and 60, then from I and V, we shift to X and L. So XL and Lx. Likewise, if you move further, one more 0, 400, 600, then you move from Xl to Cd. So see, Cd and Dc. That is why I have written them in one row. After that, 7 and 8, very easy. 7, Vii, V triple I. If you move from 7, 8 to 70, 80, then from Vi to L x so lxx and l triple x then from lx to dc 
C, D double C and D triple C. And finally we have 9, we all know 9 is I X, X is larger and I is smaller. So when we have a larger value on the right hand side then we subtract. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Likewise if you have 90, we have X C and if you move to 900 then we have C M because 1000 minus 100 is 900. So if you have knowledge of this table then every Roman number will be very very easy for you. Let's see some examples and comprehend how we write the Roman numeral for any number very very easily. Now when we move to thousands we will have one more concept coming up. So watch the entire video only then you will be able to write Roman numerals for numbers beyond 1000. So let's see some two digit numbers first. Here we have 17. Now first thing is to break this 17 into tens and ones. Now see 17 is actually 10 plus 7. So 10 and 7. How do you write 10? It is x and how do you write 7? It is v i i. So if you write them together, you get the Roman numeral for 17. Very very easy and you can understand and solve the Roman numerals using this concept obviously. Let's see 46. Now see 46 is 40 and 6. Now we have a separate number for 40 and a separate number for 6. Here it is. 40 is XL. So XL and 6 is VI. So XLVI is the Roman numeral of 46. 72. It means 70 and 2. See 70. LXX and 2 is double I. So here is the Roman numeral for 72. See 93, 90 and 3. 90 is XC and 3 is obviously 3 I's. So XC triple I is the Roman numeral for 93. Friends, it is very very easy and I am sure if you have understood the video till now, you will be able to write all the Roman numerals of 3 digit numbers as well. Slight difference. Why? Because we have a 100 digit also. Now see how do we deal with this 100 digit. See 135 means 135. Now write the Roman numeral for 100. For 100 we have C. For 30 we have triple X. And for 5 we have V. So C triple X V is the Roman numeral for 135. Likewise 184 C 184. You have to just break it in the form of hundreds, tens and ones. 100 means C 80. Now 80 is L triple X and 4, 4 is I V. So here is the Roman numeral for 184. C 293, 293. So what is 200? 200 is CC. What is 90? It is XC. And what is 3? It is triple I. So here is the Roman numeral for 293. Likewise, some more examples 787. So 787. C 700, it is DCC. What is 80? It is L triple X. And what is 7? It is VII. So DCC, L triple X, VII is the Roman numeral for 787. C 918, 900, 10, and 8. So 900 is CM. 10 is obviously X. Here it is and 8 V triple I. So CM X V triple I is the Roman numeral for 918. 
So friends, we have completed two digits and three digits and now we are moving on to the most important part that is numbers in thousands. We know the representation of 1000. 1000 is M. In Roman numerals, we write M for 1000, but we use K for 1000 at many places. You can find number of views of a particular video in terms of K, that is 1000. Why we use K? Because M stands for million also. So, now we have started using K for 1000. But in Roman numerals, 1000 is represented by M. Now, we can break this 1346 in terms of thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. So, let's write it. So, I will just make some space here. This is I standing for 1. So, this is 1346. Now, see I have broken down 1346 into 1000. 346. Now start writing. 1000 is M. 300 is triple C. 40 is XL. And 6 is VI. So here we have the representation of 1346. Similarly, this is also in 1000. So we can break down 1740. 4. Now start writing 1000 M. 700 is DCC. 40 is XL. And finally, 4 is IV. So we have the Roman numeral for 1744. Now, friends, what happens when the numbers move beyond 1999? That is more thousands. That is more than one thousands. So this is 2000, 5000, 8000, 12000. Now we are going to do that concept. Now see 2000, 436. Now how do we represent 2000? For 2000, we just need to have 2. See 2 into 1000. What is 2? 2 is ii. And for representing 2 we use ii for 2000 we just put a bar over this ii so ii bar means whatever number comes under that bar that has to be multiplied by 1000 so 2 into 1000 is 2000 so representation of 2000 is ii bar 400 we all know it is cd 30 is triple x and 6 is VI. So here is the representation of 2436. Next, this is 5000, 800, 10, and 2. Now see 5000. 5000 means 5 into 1000. So we have to write 5 first. 5 means V. So V has to be, we have to put a bar over V to multiply that 5 by 1000. So this is 5000, 800 is D triple C, 10 is X and 2 is I into I and I. So V bar D C C uh, triple C X I I. That is the representation of 5812. Friends, you don't need to remember anything except this table, you know. And this table is also very, very logical. If you watch carefully, this is very easy. Penultimate question, see this is 8,561. So 8,000. So we need to write 8 into 1,000. And what is 8? It is V, I, I, I. So put a bar. This becomes 8 into 1,000, 8,000. Then 500 is obviously D. 60 is LX. And 1 is I. Likewise, we have the example of 1, 2, 6, 5, 4. See, this is 12,654. For 12,000, you need to write 12 first and then put a bar because 12 into 1000 is 12,000. So, what is 12? 
12 is xii so put a bar this is 12000 600 is dc 50 is l and 4 is iv so this is the representation of 1 2 6 5 4 friends i hope you have understood this video a very very interesting video to remember any uh, roman num uh, number very very easily all you need to uh, remember is the representation of 1 5 10 50 100 500 thousand that is ivx lcdm and then the representation of single numbers single digit numbers then followed by 1 0 and followed by 2 zeros so this is the way to remember and understand roman numerals friends if you like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos to come